Hey friends, how are y'all? Hey friends, how are y'all? I'm back with another tips video. I know it's been a while, but I'm actually traveling for work and I'm in Memphis, Tennessee right now. And I had a few minutes before heading out to dinner and it made me remember that I've been wanting to film a tips video about healthier choices when eating out, like when you're trying to lose weight. And I actually, oh, this is like far away. I actually filmed this video probably about three or four months ago and I was really out of focus and I never refilmed it. So I figured since I'm all dressed and have a few minutes, I would give my tips. So I did make a little note cause I couldn't remember since I did it so long ago, but um, I'm just gonna keep them real simple and real brief. But the number one tip I have when you're eating out and trying to lose weight and you know be healthy and all that is don't assume the salad is your best option. I think we all probably know that by now, but especially probably like five to 10 years ago, I think everyone I knew when they were trying to lose weight would just eat salad, 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 whether it's at home or out at the restaurant. And when nutrition facts became available, you know, restaurants, I think I had to start publishing them. You would see that some of those salads are like 800 calories up to like a thousand calories. I think Chili's has a quesadilla explosion one that's actually way over a thousand calories. So that's my first tip is just don't assume salads are healthy. And just a little hint with that, which everyone also knows is order your dressing on the side. Cause you know, some restaurants, they douse it and I don't like a smothered smothered salad. <laughs> Sorry, that was awkward. Like, I just don't like when it's totally smothered in dressing. Like, I don't want my lettuce to be wilty. So always ask for your dressing on the side. And really, that's a little bonus tip. Any type of dressings or sauce, if you're going to get it, uh, just ask for it on the side. So that way you control how much. And then that leads me to uh, my tip number two, and that is plan ahead. Most restaurants nowadays all have their nutrition facts online. So if you just take a minute, go to their website, and most likely you can find the nutrition facts and see exactly what it is you're getting. So that way when you go into the restaurant, you're not overwhelmed and just pick something you would maybe go to in the past or whatnot. So you're, you're knowledgeable, because I've been really surprised. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I definitely know there's been instances where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get this, this is the healthiest. And then after looking online at the nutrition facts, I'm like, wow, that wasn't the healthiest. It's definitely this. So just if you have the time, take a few minutes, go to their website. Usually it's on their website, if not on their website, like My Fitness Pal, places like that have stuff. Okay, and then my third recommendation is try to order your, especially your vegetables or whatnot, cooked without butter or oil. A lot of restaurants know this as prepared skinny, skinny vegetables. I was surprised. I didn't realize like how common it was. As soon as I would be like, hey, can you not add butter to my vegetables? They're like skinny. And I'm like, yeah. And now that's like regularly what I do. I'm just, it's out of habit now. I don't really notice the difference. I don't put butter on my vegetables when I cook them at home. So why have it when I'm out at the restaurant? But I've also learned after ordering stuff skinny that there's also a uh, called no boss b-o-s-s -S, and that is no butter oil salt or sugar um, i've never tried ordering that way but i have heard of it before so that may be another something you can go to when you're ordering out and then um, a fourth tip is that four yeah that's four <laughs> A fourth tip is right when you get your entree, especially if it's like some, some restaurants entree size is really well portioned and it's one person. So you're fine there. But if you go somewhere that has like a massive chicken bread steak, yes, I'm in Texas. Um, just go ahead and divide it in half, put half of your mashed potatoes up, you know, maybe half of your fried okra. If you, you know, want to use the calories there, which I always re recommend on fried okra, always worth the calories. <laughs> But anyways, just box it up. I'll ask for a doggy bag, a to-go box. I actually never say doggy bag, but I'll ask for a to-go box as soon as I order. Like I place the order and say, hey, do you mind going ahead and bring me a box? So that way, as soon as I get it, I portion it out, put it away, and don't even think about it. Now, granted, if you are hungry at that time when you finish your first half, go ahead and eat some, definitely. But I would say probably at nine out of 10 times, I'd never reach in the box. And so... That's just a little tip. And also that's a, that's cost savings. And 
excuse me, if you don't want to take it home, maybe you and your significant other or your friend or whoever, coworker, maybe y'all can split an entree and then just add, you know, salad with like balsamic or something like that to bulk it up. That's, you know, cost saving and health savings. I think, especially me, when I'm out to dinner, I tend to want to order way too much with, I need to like calm myself down and be like, hey, you ate out on the regular at least once a week. Like you're okay if you don't have, you know, an appetizer, a side salad, two, two sides and your entree, like I will survive. And that's a hard thing that I've had to come to terms with, which I have done it. I've gotten a lot better. Even traveling in Italy, I told myself mentally, you know, don't over order everywhere we go just because it's good food. And I think we did really well. My husband and I split a lot of paninis. Um, we were really active and I didn't feel like I had to order, you know, entree, starter and dessert. You know, I kept it only what how hungry I was. But anyhow, that leaves me to my fifth tip, which I have to look on my notes. Oh, I shouldn't have had to look at this one. But my fifth tip is enjoy yourself. Sometimes when you're out to dinner, you need to throw all these tips out the door, sit down, order what you want, and that way you'll feel super satisfied. And I will do this if there's something that I've been like really craving and just can't stop thinking about, you know, whether it be like a nice filet steak at a rush house, a, a rush house, a steakhouse with a loaded baked potato. I go in there and order and eat it and be happy and be done. And then I move on because, you know, having one unhealthy meal is not going to derail your whole weight loss journey at all. Um, I find myself, especially with cravings, it's better to satisfy that craving and then move on to, and I make my next meal the healthy meal. I never, if I had, if I go off track or have one bad meal, I never let it do wrong my whole, whole weight loss journey. I just get right back on track. Like right now being on vacation, um, I haven't really thought about what I'm eating. I eat what everyone else in the group is eating. However, I do do little things just to keep it in check and back in my head. Like last night, I wasn't very hungry for dinner. So rather than going out and spending my per diem, I just stayed in the room and ordered a sandwich and ate half of it and then I was done, you know? So don't feel like you have to eat just to eat. That's bonus tip, I guess. So anyhow, this is a really short video and I hope you like it. I know some of my other tips videos have been great. Uh, they've gotten great reviews, not reviews, I guess thumbs up and views, reviews. No, they've gotten great views, not reviews. But anyhow, that's it. Take care. Bye.